Alright. <laughs> this is a bit just for fun. If I die, don't get angry. This is just for fun. This is my 95% chance to crit. Well, almost 95%. Come on, it can be 95%. Chance to crit. Blade Flurry. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I concocted this the shit just to see how much damage I can actually deal and it is an immense amount of damage actually basically my formal defense is kill everything before they kill me with 3700 life it is not really really viable that's why I'm using the decoy totem to help me deal with it also uh, thanks to the passive and all that shit I'm dealing an immense amount of uh, poison damage primarily thanks for this poison you inflict with the critical strikes deal 100% more damage I crit almost all the time therefore my poison damage will apply with 100% potency with other close proximity passive that helps with damage over time etc also I'm using this fantastic thing here that I crafted myself curse enemies with level 10 vulnerability on hit also I have a blasphemy war mark and of course I'm using the windscreen to get the enemies to have one additional curse. Now you can see with double B nose kitchen and knife and the bell of the beast I'm using one, two, three, four, five uh, uniques. Therefore I don't have much <laughs> space to improvement. Yes I know you, there is trap damage. It's a be belt I recycled from another build. Now I'll show you how it, it works. <laughs> I mean, it's quite fun to be honest uh, to see everything uh, die so quickly and. Uh, Not all murders are equal. In, uh, <laughs> I mean, you can see that the poison damage is uh, immense. I killed the uh, Argus. Uh, basically, just uh, got six stacks release, and I was just evading everything because he was dying from poison. By himself so as you can see from the top I'm not getting more than one stack because it's useless see even if I there you go even if I don't kill immediately they just die either from uh, bleeding or from poison anyway they die from uh, damage by time and I'm not using anything that gives me poison directly like poison and uh, where's the last guy there you go Goodbye. Like poison or um, the poison support gem or the snake white. I'm not using anything uh, like that. I'm just using the passive from the ascendancy. Well, the passive and uh, from the one from the ascendancy. Also, as you know, the Bino's kitchen knife will allow me to poison enemies uh, close by. I mean, when an enemy is, is poisoned and dies, enemies close by are poisoned as well. Not from the whole. Uh, um, poison stacks but just from the biggest stack they have so you can understand even in a pack like this they die pretty quickly everyone even this guy here you see they die and they pose on other people I'm using the Val pack because the attack uh, I mean oops see <laughs> the damage I deal is so immense that I can recoup uh, all my life in almost no time and as I said this build is just for fun this is um, tier 11 I mean it is working but it's way too fragile to be to be viable and uh, my items are shit unfortunately it is standard I don't have much currency standard and the items are extremely expensive so far I mean one amulet went for like 7 exalted I mean it was good but I don't think it's worth 7 exalted. Anyway, let's go on, go on. Keep going on. Lag. God damn it. Cast the ruins, good. Uh, arsenal. Hmm. I'm gonna do that the next. Alright. Let's move on. Nothing to see here. You see that the Mortal Call is quite valuable. That half a second of uh, physical damage immunity.
can save your ass multiple times. Yeah, I'm not stacking any more than two, maybe. I'm using 45... Uh, 45... <laughs> 45... 45... To, of course, increase my survivability. As you reduce damage I take from a uh, hit. Which is nice. As my defenses are abysmal. Are really, really shit. I got like 14% uh, chance to dodge and 7% physical damage reduction. Therefore, basically, all my defenses in this case, but as I said, this is not a build, a proper build. All my defenses are basically killed before they can see you. They go like, what is Melk dead? Where's the boss here? Oh, that one's south, maybe? Yes, yes. Alright, let's keep going. I'm using, of course, Willem Blade at uh, uh, quick movement speed. But uh, also I'm using the, the flame dash so I can uh, dash from places I couldn't uh, with Willem Blade out of. It's so nice to see everybody dies like that. This is probably the most damage I've the most damaging uh, build no I, I have. It is really powerful. Oh, Argus. Oh, shit, Argus. Oh, it's Argus. Die, please. Die, 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 die. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. I didn't realize that was the boss. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was actually really funny. It's a quite funny build. If this gets a little bit of uh, likes, I'm gonna make a build guide, but so far, <laughs> this is just, just for fun. Just to, as you can see, annihilate enemies at tier 11 maps, just for the fun of it. I, I received, I think it was like 75 or 80% damage in one hit. I had to use the decoy totem just to get me that little bit of time to poison him so much that he dies. Well, so far, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm doing this for fun and for your in, uh, entertainment. And don't forget to be yourself.